Hey, hey, Sagittarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your quarterly reading for October, November, and December. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning, and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Sag, you're definitely going through some change here. You have regeneration, new life, and imagine showing up for you over the next three months. Now, bottom of the deck, you have happy, happy. This is great. Who doesn't want to feel happy? So whatever new beginnings, a new phase of your life you're entering into, some of you are jumping timelines into a frequency that feels more abundant, more happy, more loving. I feel good about this. And some of you, you've been having troubles with, I'm getting health. I'm getting an underlying energy here of health and I get education, but let's take one, one step at a time. Some of you, there's going to be good news coming in for you. This could be good news around a job, around health, around a relationship. Some of you are even traveling with the message in a bottle card. I feel like whatever this news is, it is going to bring in a lot of happiness for you. And it's going to allow you to rise up, rise up from some sort of challenge or anxiety that you have been feeling around an ending because the new beginning is showing up specifically around November, I see. But I mean, you're going to be happy and it's right before Sagittarian season here. So all your hard work, something that you may have recovered from, or if this could be a health issue, you may have the green light. I also get with card 15, this is the devil energy, 15, but it's showing up as a good surprise. So some of you could even be breaking out of some sort of bondage. You may have been in a situation where you felt bonded to it, tethered to it, tied of it. It could be materialism, codependency, manipulation, obsessions, addictions, you name it, whatever the devil bonds us to, right, in this in this material realm, but I feel like you're liberating yourself from this. This could even be foods or things that create an unhealthy imbalance in your energy. And you're gonna feel more vitality, more lively. And we have the balloons there as well. So Sag, November, December, your birthday season, I feel like it's a, a great time for you to embark upon a new path. You may even be getting a little bit of a jump start to the new year, right? So you could be setting goals or, you know, kicking off some new year's resolutions a little bit early here because I feel you are prepared to take action or you've been planning, you've been implementing new things into your life. So in the month of October, you have the regeneration card. This is like you being reborn again. It's feeling good coming out of a place where perhaps there was destruction, okay? Because regeneration, you see the volcano and the volcano, oof, yeah, four, five of swords in reverse. Oof, this is a lot of no good. A lot of no good here. Five of swords in reverse. Uh, it's walking away from that or you know, being able to pull, come out from it stronger, but you had some choices to make. So we have the two of swords here in reverse. You may have been in a state of stagnation or you felt indecisive. Maybe you didn't have enough information. So you sat on a situation for quite some time. Now this news that I see being delivered or something that you could even be communicating with yourself and saying the time is now, right? Maybe your higher self and your guides, your angels are really connecting with you to help you get out of a state of ambiguity and to move forward on your journey. Yeah, look at that. You have the 10 of swords. There's the ending putting an end to five of swords and you're committing to a new path, judgment, there's been a judgment and some of you are dealing with, oh, five of swords, seven of swords, 10 of swords. When we get that combination, that is heavy. Okay, first of all, five of swords is someone taking advantage of you or feeling like you're getting walked all over in some way, shape or form. It can feel very, very selfish. Okay, angry, 
There could be rage or poor sportsmanship involved. Uh, someone who is bullying, lying, cheating, manipulating, being deceitful. I mean, this is all the energy of these three cards together. Win at all cost. It's as if one person here has, has a little bit of a vendetta. And I feel like this person may have even had a little bit of narcissistic traits, right? Narcissistic traits. Now, of course, I'm not a licensed professional to be labeling anything, but I feel like you are dealing with someone who may have had a couple of loose screws going on upstairs. You know what I mean? I feel like you're ending this situation and I'm glad it's coming to an end because some of you, it was tough right? Whatever this was for you, it was tough. And I also see if this was something that had occurred a long time ago, maybe you are just now coming out of the wreckage, maybe financially. This could have been some sort of, you know, financial setback or struggle that occurred 10 years ago. For some of you, it was heartbreak that you really felt like you didn't fully move on from in some way, shape or form. But because we do see the Hierophant showing up here, I feel like you're claiming your place in a sense. You're claiming your power and you're committing to a path that feels a lot happier than whatever this BS was that you were going through. I mean, this could even be some health stuff. As I mentioned, I mean, a lot of of swords, uh, two of swords, 10 of swords, five of swords, seven. This could be a mental breakdown for some of you. You may have even been dealing with someone who may have had a bit of a mental imbalance themselves and it it just it feels heavy but the good news is is you're you're coming out of it there's an ending to that situation you're being reborn in a sense now the judgment judgment call has been made now judgment is in reverse so i feel like you may have been unable to let something go for quite some time. You may have even judged yourself Sagittarius in this situation or you let false evidence appearing real acronym for fear, right? False evidence appearing real take over. And it's like when you came to that place of judgment with the dragon there, you see the dragon's breath, you see Alice coming up to the Jabberwocky here and it's as if you ran or you avoided coming face to face with something because it was too scary for you. It was too heavy. It was too deep. But I see you loosening those ties or again, being able to disconnect from this energy and you have help. Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant is you have help. This could be spiritually. You have connected to your higher self, your guides, your angels. I mean, we always have help in the higher realms. That's that's a given. But sometimes we don't always have help in the physical or it feels like we don't have that support or family or soul tribe. But I see that you do here with the three of pentacles. It's represented by Dorothy's rescue. So you know when Dorothy gets captured by the flying monkeys and the lion, the tin man, and the scarecrow have to collaborate to get her back, right? They have to come up with a plan, work together. This is skilled effort and cooperation to to save their friend, right? And I feel like other people want to help you on this path. This is teamwork. It's skilled work. Now, if this is a career situation, I do feel like you are wronged in some way, shape, or form, or someone very vindictive may have received an offer instead of you. And it's like they made the wrong judgment call, but that's okay because if they chose that person, that's the energy they were aligned to and you don't want to work for that individual or that company anyway. So take that as you dodging a bullet here. Okay, same goes for a relationship. If someone chose another energy over you, um, just trust that rejection is protection and you're worthy of more here. And I see you committing to a new path. Some of you, this is a new job and we're going to look at the energy here of November. So in November, you have new life showing up here. Now, new life could be incoming news around a job, a raise, a home. This can be health, but also we, we tend to look at the external when we think of achievements or we think of new things entering our world. 
but we often neglect internal changes. So for some of you, this can be a huge shift that is taking place on a cellular level where you're viewing the world differently. Perhaps you are being very aware of surroundings, but the perspective in which you view the world has changed in some way, shape, or form. You may have adopted somewhat of an abundant or happier mindset. Some of you have come out of a dark place. Yeah. And uh, so, wow, we have the, let's see here. Uh, we have the nine of swords. As I say, we've come out of a dark place. The nine of swords is the dark place. So yeah, you're coming out of either stress, anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, tossing and turning. I mean, all the thick energy of what was going on here in the past, that's what you're transitioning into. And you're actually rising above. You're like that phoenix rising above the ashes here in this regenerative energy in October. Now we do have eclipse energy in October. It's a big month anyway. It's also a 10, which breaks down to one. Well, tens are endings, but also bringing in new beginnings, right? And we see this new beginning being brought in. And where is it leading? We have a seven of pentacles and seven of pentacles is showing up in reverse right next to this nine of swords. So you are not putting mental energy towards things that exhaust you. That's basically what it comes down to. Look at all of these swords. Some of you may have really been up in your head about a person, place, or thing, or even a belief that kept you in a stationary period for quite some time. It may have delayed your gratification or it may have delayed some sort of happiness or success. And I just feel like you are, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, learned a lot on your journey. And the seven of pentacles says, I'm not getting anything out of that, right? I'm, I'm not going to put my eggs all in this one basket over here. And this one basket over here is full of rotten eggs. They're smelly. They are broken. <clears throat> excuse me. They are, you know, long overdue. They're not going to be any good if I eat them, right? It's going to make me sick. It's going to make me unhealthy. And I feel like you're now taking a look at multiple different things that are healthy for you. So this is great. So new life. What else do we have here for new life for Sagittarius in the month of November? Eight of wands. You could be traveling. Here could here, this could be the month where there, that message that I see at the bottom of the deck is coming in. So we have messages, message in a bottle. And the Eight of Wands is also known as either message or travel, relocating. It's quick energy. So whatever news comes in at this time, it's going to speed things up quite quickly for you. And I feel like a lot of you... You're going to expect this or it is something that you've either applied for or you know about. You could be anxiously awaiting for some sort of approval or documentation or phone call or text. And I feel like it's here and it's going to change everything here for you. It's almost like it changes on a dime. Okay, so what do we have here for this message, news, communication, or relocation? What do we have next to this Eight of Wands? We have the Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Partnerships, it is reconnecting or choosing. Some of you, you may have a choice to make because both of these are choice cards. This could be a, a choice of where to live, maybe. Uh, I feel like it's going to be emotional to you. So, I mean, where you live, it could invoke emotional uh, feelings or thoughts. Maybe you have a little bit of nostalgia for a certain place, or maybe you don't want to go to a place because of, you know, emotions of memories that you don't love, right? For others of you, this may be a partnership in a job, but I do see with the Two of Cups, there is an important partnership or connection, a divine union. This can also be, you know, someone who has your back, yin and yang energy. And I just feel like a new choice is being made with the Seven of Cups. And I'm also getting with the Seven of Cups any sort of ego-driven energy in the past that may have clouded any judgments. 
that is getting cleared up or you don't have to worry about that with this person, this partner, this group, this collaboration, whatever this is, I feel like this is going to be a priority or this energy is going to choose you. It's not like you're an option or just a number or just, a, you know, I'm getting less than and I feel like whatever this partnership is, is not going to make you feel less than. So I'm loving this for you. Some of you definitely soulmate energy, but let's take a look. Spirit, what is the overall outcome energy for Sagittarius? November 2024. What do we have for Sag? November 2024. I'm getting celebration here for you. Celebration. Uh, we have Six of Swords. You're moving on to calmer waters. Definitely moving on from that Five of Swords. Uh, what else do we have? We see you moving forward. I keep getting travel, vacation. Some of you are taking some time off to spend. I'm getting like up north. Or you could be staying at maybe a family cabin. We have the King of Cups, yeah, family, something that emotionally fulfills you. Because I'm getting education, did I say that in the beginning? Something around education here as well. And health, I do feel health is significant, feeling better health-wise. But you could be taking a course or a class on some form of healing, okay? Healing modality, maybe this is sacral crane, uh, yeah, sacral cranial. I'm getting a uh, yoga. This could be Reiki. You may be taking classes on higher education if you work in maybe the medical field. I'm also getting with this King of Cups. This could be that partnership. This could be someone that is highly emotionally intelligent, uh, very intuitive, very in touch with their emotions, and someone who's compassionate and kind and patient, right? Because they have gone through somewhat of a similar background or a similar past. Or if this is a boss or someone that you're connecting with on a partnership level, I feel like they're not going to look at you as just the number. This is more of a family-oriented dynamic here or, you know, someone who's in it because they care for others, right? They care for others. You can see that this guy's happy. He is happy there with all of his cups. His cups look like they're full. He has plenty to share. And I just feel like you're in a much better space with this new partnership that's coming in. And this person could even be helping you heal in some way, shape, or form. It could be a medical professional if you, okay, I'm seeing the yarn with the wool and water here, but I'm also getting stitching up. Someone may have been stitched up or stitches could be involved or surgery of some sort with this um, six of swords. Yeah. Okay, I feel like recovery, you will recover and you'll feel better than before is what I'm getting, better than before. Well, hopefully, hopefully that is the case when we, when we go in for some sort of um, surgery. Now, in the month of December, the majority of the month is in your sign, Sagittarius, but I am getting here, imagination meets innovation so what I'm seeing here is you have ideas. You have a lot of ideas and you're allowing yourself to dream big. I feel like the dreams that maybe you have suppressed, maybe the dreams that you've put on the back burner or maybe even the dreams that you thought weren't ever going to happen for you, it's like it's, it's a little bit of it is now out of the, the bag in some way, shape, or form because you're seeing some physical evidence here that it is possible, that a dream is starting to manifest for you or there are happier days ahead. And I get for some of you, there has been an underlying health issue. I don't know if this is immune related or it could be uh, heart related, depression. I feel like there has been something ongoing for you, but you're, you're reaching a point where you have people in the physical that they might know what they're doing, right? They might know what they're doing here. Uh, if this is a professional team or I'm getting like a panel. So maybe you have a nutritionist 
uh, and a massage therapist. And, you know, you may have a panel of individuals in some way that are helping you, maybe a therapist. But I feel if this is health related, you're in good hands. And I see if this is career for you, some of you are embarking upon a brand new path. You could be, again, signing up for courses, classes, or you have room for growth in a new position that you're in. And there's expansion. The sky's the limit here for you with the Imagine card. Whatever you can imagine, you can bring to your reality, right? And we have the Nine of Pentacles and be very successful at it as well. Nine of Pentacles is hitting that peak in your life where you are creating a life that you love. Some of you could be single or, you know, there could be a partnership coming in for you that matches and mirrors your energy. Maybe you are highly successful here or you're definitely well on your way. Nine of Pentacles is creating a life that you love. It's individual achievement, material wealth, self-sufficiency, and independence. This is reaching a very pivotal point on your soul's journey that says your hard work has paid off or is being, you know, is being recompense in some way, shape, or form. And you may even be sitting back and indulging in it a little bit, right? Indulging in some of your hard work. Maybe this is the month where you travel or you are, you know, taking some time for yourself. You could even be treating yourself to something fancy. I also am getting something with a vehicle. Some of you may be purchasing a vehicle in the month of December, or maybe you work with vehicles. What do we have here, please, for Sagittarius? A very independent energy, a very successful energy coming in. We have the Strength card. Yeah, you, you've you come to a point now where you can get through anything. And so any minor blips that show up for you, or maybe if they were major blips in the past, you're like, eh, that's nothing. You know, water off a camel's back here, basically, with the Strength card, because it's like you've earned your badge of honor in some way, shape, or form. You have the strength, the courage, the determination, the self-discipline, the willpower to move forward. And when the strength shows up, I feel like a lot of you have really good self-control or you are overcoming the difficulty here because you've decided to face your fears. It comes down to facing fears. And what did we say about fears earlier on? is false evidence appearing real. And some of you may have wanted to hightail it out, right? You come face to face with this Jabberwocky on judgment day and it's like you want to hide, you want to run, you want to numb, you don't want to deal with it because you're, you're scared of the consequence or you're scared of, you know, what's on the other side. What if on the other side is worse than where I'm at now? But from what I see, I don't think it could get worse, right? There's been a lot of crap happening here for you in the past. And whatever's showing up, it feels like it's way, way, way better, okay? Way better because where you've been may have been way, way, way bad. Now, you do have the Eight of Cups, okay? Eight of Cups, so double uh, eight energy here for you. Eight is the number of power. It's the number of infinity, right? Infinite opportunities, infinite abundance, and that's kind of... What Dorothy says here on the Eight of Cups, right? She's wishing upon a star. You see that she's back in Kansas here. It's black and white. And she decides to go off on a little adventure. And she takes Toto and she takes her basket there. And she's going along. And on the side of the road is where she meets, you know, the wizard and the magic ball. And she sits down and she's in for a wild ride. Well, quite literally, because that tornado comes, right? So I feel like you've already gone through a little bit of that tornado. Maybe for some of you, it was a whole lot of tornado, but I do feel like the Eight of Cups is emotional fulfillment because you've overcome something uh, very difficult. And I keep getting that for you as well. But now the Eight of Cups, she's wishing upon that star, you know, somewhere over the rainbow. And that's why your imagination is showing up here because now there are possibilities. Now you're dreaming. Now you are taking it to the next level. And what I mean by that is because we see the eights, right? The eights are the clarifiers, but we see your main energy is the nine. And the nine is completion. You've completed a major cycle in your life, Sagittarius. Pat yourself on the back. 
Be proud of who you are. Be proud of how far you've come. Be compassionate and kind to yourself. Watch how you talk to yourself because you are your your own best friend at the end of the night, right? When you lay your head on the pillow, it's you that you are going to bed with, right? And I feel even if you're in the, the company of others, you got to like yourself. You got to love yourself. And there is something here about you coming to a place where you really are enjoying your own company or you're really starting to enjoy who you are and, you know, how far you've come. And I feel like there is a lot of success here for you. For those of you, if this has to do with your career or your material world, this is looking really good. And I also see if there's a partnership coming in here, potentially with the two of cups, you could have a lot of success in this partnership where it's like two very successful energies coming together and you have the drive, but most importantly, you have the beliefs. And I just watched a TED talk the other day that talked about the beliefs. That is what separates businesses that fail versus businesses that succeed, right? Is they believe in, in their why. They know their why. They have their belief set on that. And it's other people who gravitate towards that same belief, right? You can, you can say up and down, this is why I'm doing it. This is why I'm selling something. But ultimately, ultimately it does come down to the the why and the belief part of it. I also get commitments. There's something here about committing to a belief and you're not backing down. You're not getting distracted. You're not letting other people tell you what to believe. Yeah. You're not letting, uh, not, maybe not even other people, but you may not be letting fear dictate your path. Okay. Fear dictate your path. So let's take a look. What is the overall outcome here for the month of December? I'm also getting, some of you may splurge. It could be a month if you celebrate the holidays, right? You may have some extra money or you may, uh, you may like to indulge and splurge, but just be mindful of spending because sometimes it can get out of hand. I also see for some of you, you could be in a new location this year if you celebrate the holidays or perhaps... You know, you're not going to celebrate with the same people or the same energy that you did last December. I think there was another sign that got that message as well. It may have been either Scorpio or possibly Libra. You may have those placements in your chart. Or it could be, you know, that we're taking a look at Scorpio and Libra and energy as well with yours. But I do feel, yeah, I do feel like you're making new memories, new traditions, or strengthening the beliefs that you are strongly, firmly grounded to. And look what we have here. We have the fool and we have the chariot. Like I said, you're a step ahead of the game here. So your new year starts now during your season. So some of you, this new year starts in November, okay? As October nears, you're really climbing up out of some of that feeling of maybe not feeling as vit, you know, a lot of vitality, or you're just feeling a little bit overwhelmed or, you know, whatever it is for you, you're renewed. You're feeling more renewed. Now I see 46 could be significant. Some of you are 46 years old. Some of you may be 39. You may be born on the 20th, the 26th or the 15th, but we have the fool, <clears throat> excuse me, and the chariot. So there's going to be potential travel here as well. The chariot is a vehicle, and I was picking up on that earlier. Some of you could be getting a brand new vehicle. Well, maybe not brand new, but brand new to you. The fool is, is taking that leap, right? Alice going down the rabbit hole. And I feel like you are filled with wonder. You're filled with curiosity. This is imagination, right? So wherever your curiosity leads you, it has the potential to really, you know, drive your destiny forward in a very happy, very abundant way. So beautiful outcome energy for December, 2024. Perfectly in time for your season. I'm getting some of you could be Christmas babies or Christmas Eve babies. Um, I'm also seeing here, uh, so, I mean, wait, hold on. No, you're not because you're not even that. Something about being born, someone could be born on Christmas Eve 
okay? Because you, you're you not quite that far into, I think that's Capricorn energy, if I remember correctly, but uh, I feel like someone is a, a baby, Christmas Eve baby. This could be a child. This could be a, a partner, a spouse. Yeah, the 24th and 25th, someone is born. I am getting that. So if you're expecting a newborn or if you are, uh, you know, or if you have a family member, I do have the balloon showing up here as well. It could be a very, very happy holiday time for you if you celebrate the holidays, but everybody celebrates a birthday. Uh, but let's take a look and get a few messages from some inspirational leaders. This could be your guides, your loved ones in spirit. What messages do we have here for Sagittarius for the next three months? What messages do we have for Sag? All right, we have Helen Keller, Helen Keller. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Remember what we said earlier about sometimes when people ask you, what is your greatest achievement or where does all your success lie, right? We tend to name the things in the physical and we tend to forget sometimes that sometimes our greatest success is here. Oh, one moment here. That does not happen often. So some of you, there could be an alarm going off here. Pay attention to this, right? Um, so the best and most beautiful things in life or in the world cannot be seen or touched. They must be felt with the heart. So some of you are having a huge heart chakra activation here, and I am feeling very happy. And because I see that you've had a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, or even loneliness, there may have been some isolation, I do feel like this heart is opening up for you because something may have blinded you, right, Helen Keller? Something may have blinded you in some way, shape, or form where you weren't able to feel in some sort of way, but I feel like you're you're learning or you're healing from this, you're coming back from this, and you have come to a point where you're rising up and you're realizing the true nature of the heart. So beautiful. Now we also have Labendronath Tagore. I think I butchered that name, but it says you can't cross the sea merely by standing and staring at the water. This means if you want something, go for it, right? If you want something Sagittarius, you have to go for it. And I feel like some of you, I think we said this in the very beginning of your reading, you may have felt like you stuck, you were stuck on a decision, therefore you didn't make one, or you sat on it, or you felt like there wasn't a lot of movement, perhaps because internally or subconsciously there may have been some blocks, or maybe physically you didn't make a move, and I feel like you are now. There is something about action I see in your energy. In the next three months, you are taking that next step in order to inspire your life in a bigger way. We have here, wherever you go, go with all your heart. So we have another message here around the heart. And you may have been very much in your head in the past about a situation, okay? Logical energy, tons and tons and tons of swords coming out here. And they're not the good swords either. It's the swords that, you know, destroy. As I always say, the, the mind can either build or it can destroy, we can get viruses just like that computer system because ultimately that's what the brain is, is like a big old computer system or we can use it to build right and i feel like a lot of you there was some sort of breakdown or virus in some way that took over right took over and it corrupted everything in your life but now you've opened up your heart in ways that maybe you never would have been able to open up sag if you wouldn't have gone through some sort of dark night of the soul, okay? Napoleon Hill, if you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. I like that one. Yeah, if you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. So no matter what here, it's a win-win, okay? It is a win-win. And lastly, this is a message from um, someone's spirit, someone's loved one in spirit. I'm getting an M, I'm getting a C, and I'm getting um, J as well. M, C, J, 
Okay, I'm not sure. Maybe MCJ is the entire initials or it could be, I mean, those letters are what's coming up first. So please take it as it resonates. Someone who's crossed over those uh, initials or letters could be significant. And it says bad things happen and sometimes the bad things turn out to be the conduit for a good thing. But you can't always see that while you're in it. I feel like there could have been some sort of tragic loss for some of you, okay, uh, regarding this individual who's no longer with you. Uh, or it could be that you have a loved one that is guiding you through a difficult time that you have had on this earthly plane, right? Bad things happen and sometimes the bad things turn out to be the conduit for a good thing. What that means is, I mean, you know what it means, but I'll break it down a little easier is out of some sort of pain and challenge, you can turn that into gain, right? Turn pain into gain, basically. Turn iron into gold. Turn some sort of situation, allow it to be the catalyst for something better in your life. And the perfect example is there was a major loss in my community, in my, um, in my area where I live many, many years ago, and there was a lot of sudden deaths with a group of people. And the community came together and the family and the, the mother of that, uh, one of the specific people that were involved in that incident, she went on and regardless of the, the tragedy that had happened and, and the pain that she probably still endures to this day, she had went on to create, you know, books and foundations and uh, she continued to help people and she just went on to be such an inspiration to many, many, many people out of that tragedy. And I feel for some of you, maybe it's not that huge. It could be in your world, right? It could definitely be because who am I to say what's big or small, right? It's it's still significant no matter the size of it, no matter what it is. And I feel like you are taking a situation that had been very challenging and it is the catalyst for you becoming a happier version of you. So Sag, yes, this is deep. Yes, you've been through a lot, but you are an individual who is fire, right? You are brimming fire. You're gonna walk through fire if you have to, to do what it takes to get to your happiness or your abundance. So remember, you are that phoenix rising up. And as I always say, the comeback is stronger than the setback. And if there has been a significant loss uh, with, with a loved one in your life or any sort of endings or tragedies, I'm sending you lots and lots of love, but I know that you are going to come back as a fighter, as a warrior, and you're not alone. You're not alone here. And I see that there are definitely happier days ahead and a lot of success coming in for you as well. Thank you so much, Sag, for allowing me to be a part of your journey and for tuning in today. If you like the messages, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And thank you again so much for tuning in. Lots of love.